Hey, uh, hey, hey, Ricky. Um, you you guys look like you were in control there with the ten point lead about seventeen minutes left. You know, Makai hit a three, which was kind of a shock. And then, what do you think happened after that that allowed Vanderbilt to to run, kind of run away with it there, like they did at the end? Um, I just say they started hitting threes, which was our game plan to prevent them from doing. And that got the crowd into it. They got them into it, and. I feel like we were never able to bounce back through that point. It was playing catch up to the end of the game. Um, how how tough is that when you know? I mean, it, it looked like you guys had a good road win, and then it doesn't happen. How tough is that to bounce back from? Do you think? How where do you guys go from here? I mean, obviously you got to go to Columbia, but I mean, for, as a team, sort of, how, how do you think you bounce back from this? I still think we'll be fine. Um, I think we can bounce back good. Obviously, into the, the second half after uh, Alabama lost some. Um, He's got a lot back in. Simple to say. And you, you, that was a weird situation. You had six free throws there all at the same time after those technicals on Vanderbilt at the end of the first half. How how weird how weird was that? And um, you know, just shooting six free throws like that, and and it was a seven point possession that ended up being for you guys. Yeah, it was definitely weird. Um, probably done that only one other time in my life. But um, yeah, it was weird. It was good for us, though. Get a good lead into halftime, but um, really didn't do nothing if you really think about it. Who else did you do that against? It was an AAU a long time ago. AAU. Okay, okay, thanks. Yeah. Uh, Scotty? It, Ricky, Alabama went 7 of 10 from 3 in the second half the other night. Today, Vanderbilt was 6 of 9 from 3 in the second half. Is there a common thread there? Um, or, or just what are you? What have you seen in terms of like breakdowns with those perimeter defense, or is it just their shot making? A little bit of both. I feel like we're more locked in onto it. Obviously, coming out of half because coach just said that coming out of halftime, been talking about it the whole day, the whole day before about a three. So we're locked into it, and then obviously had a good first half, and then they come out, they hit one, they hit another, their five man hits one, so. Is obviously tough. Now it's definitely a common theme. Alabama did the same thing, but take away those, we win the game. I guess what keyed your day? I think you went for 24 on, on 12 shots. It was, you know, probably your most efficient game in a little bit. Um, I don't know. I was just locked in, had a lot of conversations with the coaching staff, and my teammates. Just trying to be a good team out there today and not force much. And that was the result, but, you know. Obviously not enough. All right, two more questions, uh, Andrew. Yeah, Ricky, I think I can't remember exactly what Coach said, but he said something about the competitive. He felt like the competitiveness slipped on the defensive end in the second half. Did you feel like that? And and what what's going to be the key to to getting that back? You know, moving forward. I wouldn't say so. Everybody has their own opinion. Um, I do feel like we were fouling a lot if there were bad calls or not, which. They probably were. I got to watch the game over. Um, so when they weren't here in threes, they were getting to the free throw line almost every possession. So it was really tough. Um, don't think um, our intensity slipped. Like I said, all I remember is they were in a possession, either they're scoring or they're going to the free throw line. It seemed like that the whole second half. So, I mean, I don't know. I rewatch it. All right. They got to go. Thanks, Ricky.